ever pondered the likelihood of life existing beyond our planet? The concept of extraterrestrial life is not a new one. In fact, it dates back to ancient civilizations. The Greeks, for instance, were quite forward-thinking. They theorized about a universe filled with countless worlds, a theory known as cosmic pluralism. Thinkers like Epicurus and Lucretius speculated that these worlds could potentially harbor life. Meanwhile, the ancient Egyptians viewed the cosmos as a divine realm, filled with celestial deities. Their intricate astrological knowledge led them to ponder what existed beyond their earthly domain. As we moved into the Middle Ages, these ancient theories evolved but were often suppressed or dismissed due to religious and philosophical beliefs of the time. However, with the advent of the Renaissance and the subsequent scientific revolution, these theories began to resurface and evolve even further, fueled by new discoveries and advancements in science and technology. As our understanding of the universe expanded, so did our theories about life beyond Earth. The Renaissance and the Age of Discovery brought a new perspective to our understanding of the universe. This was a time of great innovation and curiosity. The invention of the telescope allowed us to gaze deeper into the night sky, and the heliocentric model of the solar system shifted our perspective completely. We were no longer the center of the universe. This new vision inspired many, including Giordano Bruno and Johannes Kepler. Bruno, a daring visionary, was among the first to speculate about an infinite universe filled with a multitude of worlds. Kepler, renowned for his laws of planetary motion, also pondered the existence of life on other planets. These theories, once considered radical, planted the seeds for our modern understanding of the cosmos. They sparked a curiosity that continues to drive us, pushing us to explore beyond our own planet, beyond our own solar system. The Enlightenment era further pushed the boundaries of our understanding of the cosmos. The 20th century saw an unprecedented push in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The thirst for knowledge, the drive to explore the unexplored, led to the formation of SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. SETI, founded in the mid-20th century, has been on a relentless quest to discover if we are alone in the universe. Dedicated scientists at SETI use an array of methods to detect signals from potential extraterrestrial civilizations. They scan the skies, sifting through cosmic static, listening for a whisper, a signal, anything that might suggest we are not alone. Radio telescopes, the eyes and ears of SETI, stand like giants against the horizon, their dishes pointed skyward, listening to the cosmos. A major event in the history of SETI was the detection of the WOW signal in 1977. This was a strong narrowband radio signal that lasted for 72 seconds, long enough to pique the interest of those listening, but too brief to be identified or traced. The WOW signal, named for the astonished exclamation written on the printout of the signal, remains an unsolved mystery to this day. Then came the dawn of the exoplanet era. The late 20th and early 21st centuries have seen the discovery of thousands of exoplanets, many of them within the habitable zone. This is the region around a star where conditions might be just right for life as we know it, where liquid water could exist on a planet's surface. These discoveries have sparked a renewed sense of excitement and anticipation, pushing the boundaries of our search for extraterrestrial life. So here we are in the modern era, equipped with more sophisticated tools and methods than ever before radio and optical telescopes, space probes, and supercomputers all working in harmony to scan the cosmos, looking for a sign, a signal, a whisper in the cosmic dark. The search for extraterrestrial life continues with more sophisticated tools and methods than ever before. What does the future hold in our quest to discover life beyond Earth? As we stand on the cusp of a new era, our eyes are set on the vast expanse of the cosmos. Our next big leap? Mars, known as the Red Planet, Mars holds the potential for human habitation. But it's not just about setting foot on a new planet, it's about the search for life. As we prepare for manned missions to Mars, we're not just packing our spacesuits and rovers, we're taking along our insatiable curiosity. The same curiosity that once had us gazing at the stars and wondering, are we alone? But our quest doesn't stop at Mars. Our telescopes are pointed further into the solar system towards the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Beneath the frozen surfaces of Europa and Enceladus, we believe vast oceans exist. Could these oceans be teeming with life as we know it, or perhaps life as we don't know it? Only time, and our relentless pursuit of knowledge, will tell. The future of space exploration is not just in the hands of government agencies anymore.
private space companies are joining the race, bringing with them innovative technologies and a new kind of space race. Companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Virgin Galactic are not just dreaming of commercial space travel, they're making it a reality. Technological advancements are furthering our understanding of the universe. From telescopes that can peer into the farthest reaches of the cosmos to rovers that can drill into the Martian soil, our tools are becoming more sophisticated. With each passing day, we are getting closer to answering the age-old question, is there life beyond Earth? Yet the universe is vast, and we are but a tiny speck in it. The search for extraterrestrial life is not just about finding aliens, it's about understanding our place in the cosmos. It's about realizing that we are part of a larger, grander scheme. It's about embracing the fact that we are, in every sense, children of the stars. The quest for understanding our place in the universe is a journey that is far from over. So where does that leave us in our quest for extraterrestrial life? We've journeyed through the ages, from the time of ancient perceptions, where celestial beings were seen as omnipotent deities, to the Renaissance and the Age of Discovery, which saw a shift in our understanding, with the cosmos no longer a realm of the divine but a place to be explored. We entered the modern era armed with technology and a thirst for knowledge, opening up new possibilities in our search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Now we stand at the precipice of the final frontier, with our sights set on distant galaxies and the mysteries they hold. The search for alien life is a testament to our ceaseless curiosity, our inherent need to understand the universe and our place within it. It's a journey of discovery that is far from over. As we continue to gaze at the stars and wonder, we remain hopeful that one day we might not be alone in the universe.